This Minecraft speed run almost destroyed the world record. Let's get right into the video. Hey everyone, it's Illumina, and in this video, Illumina, I got the 16 random seed glitchless real time world record. If you don't know what any of that means, don't worry. I'll explain yeah, what does it during mean? the run, but let's it's not waste my, any time because this run was kind newbie, of insane. Bro. So, yeah, let's watch it. Let's get right into it. All right, so yeah, we have the run up coming here, and I just want to preface this by saying that I was in a call during this run. I didn't okay. actually stream this run live, but you know, it's all right. It's a bit unfortunate it was a stream, but that's just how it works. I have okay. an instant reset mod here, so run resets instantly. And yeah, here's the run. Um, I see that okay. shipwreck over there, and I'm contemplating going towards it, but I'm actually going to use a different strat here called Mapless Treasure. And <laughs> it's a bit complicated to explain. I barely know how it works. It was found by a speedrunner named Talking Mime. And. <laughs> right here, I actually Bro, kind I, of fumble a bit. I'm, I was trying to change my. I'm beyond. I didn't know Minecraft like, had. had uh, I didn't know they had I mods. Got a bit confused there. Of what was going on? Bit disoriented. <laughs> I didn't right. have so mods at all. Treasure, and by looking around here with my F3, uh, like I said, it's a bit. I can't really explain it that much, and I don't really have time to. But basically, you can find videos on it. I oh, so just he's just fine around with my F3 a bit, and I determined that the mapless treasure was there so that's pretty cool i actually recently learned this so the fact that i was able to implement this in a run like this is pretty cool and i see lava right okay. there so i'm kind of freaking out is so because this enter is going to be insane but i do run into a problem and there's actually you know these trees are pretty far away they're not on the island with the lava so okay. we're actually going to be losing time there but it's no worry, just a bit of a time loss. Getting some wood, okay. And, um, yeah, if you guys haven't noticed already, I'm using F3, and I I have kind of the reputation of being the okay, new no F3 runner, as I got world record without it and whatnot, but honestly, if I'm being 100% honest, axe. you know, I've been having a lot of fun using F3 with the new strats, like Map of the Treasure, so, you know, it's... I'm kind of, you know, ruining my brand a bit, but it's okay. I'm done. You can see all the stuff I'm making here. I'm making, uh, I think I made all the correct stuff. Man's I didn't getting really himself know what a to boat. do with my gold at this point, so uh, okay. you know, just kind of kept it. I've heard that and, gold uh, in flint, Minecraft was so pretty pointless. Is that true? To getting flint is to make a oak pressure plate so I can okay. mine oh. quicker. I actually do get rolled on a flint here, but. Oh, no, yeah, this is top tier. I'm going to be know, honest. Boy, you, you gotta know a lot about Minecraft to, to to build this, this to build like know, a, a thing to it's to build like faster, the fastest, bro. Um, nether entry, you know, people have ever seen, but it's decent, not terrible. Hey, this lava, the fact already? That this lava spawn here is really weird. Like, this is a weird spot for lava to spawn. It, it, this rarely happens. I'm just happy there was lava here. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, and we're entering the nether. And Got him in the nether, okay. He's in the nether I, I already. I think this is a thing a lot of people know if you follow speedruns, but right now I'm using my F3 to see if I can find a bastion. I lower my FOV to see entities in a very specific spot so that I know where the bastion is. Like, it's where I'm looking. It's a bro, bit more complicated boat than that, but again, whatever, bro, is so goaded, bro. Never um, used a boat in Minecraft before. Yeah, I see the fortress. I know the bastion I'm gonna be this way, is this way, and I see a I've always played uh, creative. So like, okay. <laughs> I was always a noob, bro. Don't, don't, I see the listen, don't look first, at me I'm, like that, I'm okay? I'm a runner who likes doing fortress first. Like, I don't want to force going to the bastion first. I want to go to the fortress if it's, if I know it's the fastest way. And, and clearly, you know, I don't see the bastion yet. Okay, get the skeleton out here. Ooh, that scared me. The best that's that's Brian's lighter, but that's scared the life out of me, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Do some epic. Because I think those are traps, movements. right? You know, as it is. Okay. And then. And he yeah, he's moving. He fl he flying through. He's moving. Get him out of here. Got some blazes. Oh, yeah, this chest. Has, I get two gold, so I can make a gold oh. helmet, which is nice if I want to. Oh oh I have an oh. Extra option of being safe in a bastion, so pigments, you know, don't mess with me or anything. Oh, you see, we've... I'm getting some nice uh, blazes here. I got like four blazes already, so I think, or got two blaze rods, two out of four, or, or something like that. Oh, There's yeah, bro. He's right moving, it's moving, bro. They drop a rod. I'm at three, I'm pretty sure. There's two blaze spawners here. So I go to this one. Oh, no. Oh, Bam. no. And yeah, I'll, I'll, also, I, ooh, I don't ooh, think I've ooh, said ooh, this, but ooh. I noticed the bastion ooh. right there, and I know it's a housing, and I'm like, if you guys don't know, housing's like okay, the best him. bastion there is. It's crazy good bastion 
I don't and know I what he was rods. talking about. I have six rods from killing that blazes. I don't even need to go to the second spot. <laughs> I don't even know what There's Bastion right is. Here. What is that? You better believe it drops the seventh rod because why? What? He is sounds it? like Mr. Beast kind of. I'm, I'm gonna be I honest. That, but I see housing. He here, sounds like Jimmy. And I can do a route called Manhunt Housing, which was made by Fire. <laughs> I was just saying Mr. Beast. Why well, am I saying Jimmy? Like I know him on a personal good. level. Right here, you could argue I made a misplay, and I kind of agree. I make a gold helmet, but I really didn't need to do that. It's like. I feel like that strat's too safe, but whatever it happens, um, happens, you know, right there. I'm trying to figure out where to go. And I break that chest. All these piglins are mad at me because I broke that chest. They don't like that. So I go, now I give them gold, right? And do that. And yeah, yeah, this is the route goal, where right? I gather a lot of pigs to go over here so I can get gold traded. Quickly. Yeah, gold. You know, oh, gold I know this. Well, yeah, pearls, I know this part. We have the, the uh, give the piglins whatever gold so they won't hit you. So we have a lot of pigs to trade. There you go. Give gold so they won't hit you. I know that. Hey, I know something about Minecraft, bro. Bastion route there is. So the fact that I got this in a run is very good. And it was so convenient. It was right next to the fortress. This run is super lucky. I'm not going to I'm not gonna say that, you know, this is all skill. Like, this, this category is stupid lucky. Like, stupidly luck based. So it happens. And I think, like, I pretty much already got the stuff. I'm kind of, like, disoriented. Like, I'm on insane pace. I'm, like... I have pretty much everything I need by like six minutes. I'm kind of so like, do they like whenever nervous, you give them gold, really do they give you something quickly. back? I'm just kind of like, or, or oh, no. what's going on? I'm so it looks like they give you something back. Good. And uh, yeah, make the portal here because the cords, if you look at the cords, is like negative 200, negative six. That's actually pretty decent cords for uh, the stronghold, you know? And it's just kind of luck, you know, where the stronghold is. So it, it's where the stronghold can spawn. So it's like, is, that's all I care about. I only care about. Can the, okay, like, so the only thing I'm back. looking for is like, can the stronghold spawn here? If the answer is yes, I'll, you know, make my portal. Some, and some, then some, uh, what's it called? This is actually Mo mobs? really unlucky. Up I here? spawned in a cave, and that's just like oh, that's tough. Yeah, waste that, a lot of time tough, because yeah. I have to mine up so many blocks, and it's just this is a pretty unfortunate time loss. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. just a bunch of digging up, and uh, just to talk a bit about the run. Um, or but the context of the run so i said this was the real time world record that pretty much means like real lifetime so if you uh, put this run okay. up against any other run currently like side by side real time like real lifetime it'll be faster than any other run it's not the fastest leaderboard time because the leaderboard goes by in-game time and that's time uh, actually spent in the game because the world record paused a lot so that's why you see if you go on the leaderboard the real time is much longer than the in-game time so yeah that's why uh this is i this is the real time world record so if you're a bit confused on that but uh, you know that's a pretty good even though i didn't get the in-game time world record i'm still yeah. happy about the real time because it's kind of a cool flex regardless you know i'll, I'll, I'll take it <laughs> but i see the stronghold cool right here and i'm freaking out in the call so I like don't you have to like find like so uh, I don't have to like hear them in the, the thing just so I can focus so, like, a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, to go into the thing. Oh, he found me. it. There it is. And hey, listen, yeah, so this stronghold was actually about Minecraft, saying, What's bro. Dead about end? these Minecraft like speed runs, bro. The right, so I go to the left. Now he has to just go and fight the end. It's so ender, linear. Dragon, like, right? I just go down this like straight path, and then yeah, you're you're gonna see it in a second. Uh, <laughs> bam, there it is. There it is. Crazy now. All right, take us. Yep. Crazy now. Let's just say. Let's just say it. Crazy now. All right, so he just has to. Fast as anyone's ever been and by like 40 to 50 seconds or something crazy like that okay i'm on the fastest pace anyone's ever been of course i'm pretty dang nervous honestly right. i'm pretty good at controlling my nerves you know i've been in this scenario many times i've, I've been on record paces you know it's, it's it's still it doesn't really get too much oh. either, but you know it's oh yeah he's about an enderman i don't know how to explain it you know but all you can do is just pray and unfortunately man all around this is bro. Rare. <laughs> This is where it just everything goes bad because oh, the dragon no. doesn't perch for you can see probably about like three minutes or so it's over three minutes the dragon doesn't perch. He and doesn't come to the thing. RNG. It's actually a one in thirteen chance that the dragon perches instantly and you can do the one cycle with the beds. Yeah. So uh, the fact that that didn't happen. You use the beds to blow up the you know, thing, right? To it's blow obviously the, expected. To kill the dragon. You, you know, it would have been sick. I would have had. I wouldn't say I would have killed this category, but this category would be, or that world record would be really Wow, so he's not so even coming to the thing. Imagine if I got it, but. That's tough. You know, I'll take what you get. You know, I got the fastest ever end enter world record. I got the real time world record. Okay. I'm happy regardless. And yeah, 
Dang, yeah, so he doesn't come down for like another like was not three, four minutes. That's crazy, bro. Like, well, you know how, how heated just, that would be? Like, like, what can you say? Like, it's probably one of the luckiest seeds I've ever seen. But, um, yeah. He's not trying to come I don't know down, bro. What else to say? It's kind of boring. He's not trying to come but, down, um, bro. I guess I'll just let this play out. I'll probably have the reaction play at the end so you guys can hear my uh, reaction. Oh, no. I wasn't too stoked. You know, if, uh, oh, yeah, this is a really funny part of the run is I look at the Enderman and I'm like, oh, oh gosh, what my do I God. Do? Uh, but I just placed the boat down. I, I was really scared that that was going to ruin the run, but thankfully it didn't because sometimes Endermen just don't go in boats and that very well could have happened. Oh, but so you can just put a boat down and the Enderman was going to right boat? I'm just like, that's ah, tough. This is hard to watch. Just imagine if I got like sub nine uh, from this. It, it was very possible, bro. He's not trying to come down, I could have bro. I a strategy called I'd half bow, where I bow most of the crystals, like with a bow and arrow, and that actually causes the dragon to perch more. But I honestly don't really regret going for the, you know, one in thirteen chance, because if I did get that, that boy not then trying the to come down, bro. Be, like virtually unbeatable, and it would just be like the best run ever. So, even though it didn't happen, I liked going for it. You could make an argument the other way. If I did half both, then it was pretty much like guaranteed a record almost. But boy, you, know, well, you could argue so sick, either bro. way, and I'm happy. Bro, with imagine. What I uh oh, did. oh, like, here, here, here he is. So it's not a big here deal he is. To me. Let's go. Yeah, you can see. Bam, Let's go. Here. Bam. Bit, bam. Bit. Pretty bad bed hits. Bit. <laughs> My excuse is that I'm rusty. Oh, I'll practices. be here, y'all. Yeah, that's it. And I'll let the oh, reaction I'll be play so out. Here, Thanks bro. for watching. First ten XX. I'll be here. I'm gonna be honest. I'll be here. I'll be here. Let's go. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, I'm, I'm still, I'm still mad, but like, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm I'll mad, be hit, bro. I'll be hit, bro. I'm mad, but I'm. I'll be hit. It took that boy twenty thousand years to get, bro. I'll be hit, bro. It took him twenty thousand years to get to, was it to perch down or whatever? Oh, I'll be hit, bro. Oh, bro, I, bro. Oh my God, bro. I'll turn to a Hall of Fame minutes, bro. What the heck? But yeah, shout out to Illumina for this video. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video. And I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And peace.